Apocalypse is probably one of my favorite records that I just released. Um, why? Because I feel like it expresses the the uh, connection between anybody in a relationship. When you really, really love somebody, you really don't care what else is going on in the world, what's going against you, what's for you. You get through so many things uh, just to be with the person that you want to be with. Even if it's not perfect, you just you like the chaos, even if it's with them. You know. So that's what that song kind of represents for me, and it's upbeat, it's vibey, it's catchy, and uh, I love listening to it personally just all the time. Um, but yeah, that's that's the first one. I feel like it's a feel-good song. I feel like everybody can relate to a love story. Rough Drafts Part One. It's called Rough Drafts because um, I feel like especially today's uh, day and age, like everybody is trying to be perfect. They're trying to emulate something on social media. Everybody wants that fi uh, finished product. They see other people doing well. They want to skip a few steps. And I feel like a rough draft, you can't ever get a final draft. You go to college, you can't get the final draft first. You got to do a couple rough drafts, revise it, do some different things, add punctuation, and lose things. So I've, I'm just trying to show people that it's okay to be at peace within the, the steps getting there to wherever you're trying to get to. So, you know, it's just like apocalypse. The mistakes, the inconsistencies, those are the beautiful things in life. So that's why it's called rough drafts. I actually, when I was doing Burning Sands, uh, when we were at Sundance, actually, uh, I met, I ran into Kenya. And it's funny because before I ran into him, I was like, God, please, the last two roles I've had was American Crime, Burning Sands. I cry every day on these things. I don't want to do any more sad shit. And then uh, out of nowhere, I run into Kenya. He's like, yo, I want to talk to you about some stuff. We got some stuff coming up, blah, blah, blah. So then I go to LA, I audition. And after audition, he's like, yeah, you're a guy. And then it happened, dude. I was like, oh my God, thank you. Dude, super fly. I'm so excited. It's a classic film that we're remaking, a 2018 version. Comes out June 15th. Uh, I think trailer comes out next week. Um, and dude, it's basically about just this guy who's really young, but he's also has a very, very top position in the drug game. And then he wants to leave, but because he has his hands in so many pots and so many people depend on him for bread, it's kind of difficult. So there's a lot of action, a lot of fighting. I did all my own stunts. I have to say that every time I talk about it, just in case you watch it. I did all of it, okay? My back hurts, my knees hurt. I went through a lot of bullshit. I'm joking. I want to do some crazy, I want some Oscar stuff, man. I want to be like a crackhead or something. I don't know. I got to do, I don't want to do the slave thing or the whatever. I want to do like a real role that's just a person that goes through some, but I want to transform for sure. I don't know what, but I definitely want to go deep into some kind of Joker type vibe. You know what I mean? That'll be fun.